Soon after the tragic collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, President Biden told reporters that he wants to fast track the replacement process and he wants the federal government to pay for it. These kinds of mega projects have been a hot topic in the past couple of years due to President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, which allocated hundreds of billions of dollars to be doled out through various federal programs. But Biden's pledge got some of you wondering about the money for Baltimore's fixes and its potential impacts on other cities hoping for chunks of federal funding for infrastructure like, uh, well, Portland comes to mind. Jim emailed us, hey, since Oregon and Washington are hoping for federal dollars for our I-5 bridge project, will Baltimore's bridge replacement now get higher priority or completely take all available funds? Since they have the emergency and we just have the aging bridge, I fear we may get shut out in the funding. What do you think, Pat? Well, I think that's an excellent question, Jim. And to be honest, I had no idea what the answer was, so we started asking around. First, we went to the interstate, interstate bridge replacement team, and they said, we cannot speculate on how the administration will identify federal funding in response to this emerging need or if that would impact other projects. We are confident that we are competitive to meet the requirements of the federal grant programs we are pursuing. In other words, yeah, they don't know. But fair enough, they're not the ones asking for the money. They are the ones asking for the money, rather, not the ones handing it out. So it makes a big difference. So what about the federal side of things? Well, for starters, the Federal Highway Administration has an emergency relief fund for cleanup and repairs after disasters. When a smaller bridge, for example, carrying Interstate 5 over the Skagit River in Washington State collapsed in 2013, that federal relief fund covered almost all of the $20 million replacement cost. Maryland got $60 million from that fund to help with debris removal in Baltimore, and it plans to request more later. So far, it's all pretty straightforward, right? The first funding source in these situations tends to be the emergency funding rather than grant funding. So there's nothing for our interstate bridge project to miss out on. We're not getting emergency money. But what if the emergency is really expensive? Well, U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said that the relief fund has almost a billion dollars available but that's for disasters across the entire country. He declined to even guess at how much a replacement of the key bridge would cost. But we do know the original was about $110 million back in the 70s, which would be about eight times as much today. And even on the back of the napkin math, you can figure out that means the emergency relief funding won't be enough. And Biden and Buttigieg have both said that they do plan to ask Congress for more. So how might that request play out? Well. There is a recent example. In August of 2007, a bridge near Minneapolis that carried Interstate 35 West abruptly collapsed into the Mississippi River. Remember that? The replacement cost ran into the hundreds of millions of dollars, too much for regular emergency funding alone. It took only six days for Congress to pass legislation authorizing $250 million for a replacement, which helped the state get a new bridge open after just 14 months. Now, to be clear, the Baltimore bridge replacement is not going to happen that fast. Even if you do cut through a bunch of the red tape in the planning stages, it's a way bigger and more complicated river crossing. And construction of the original bridge, that took five years. But the point is that in previous situations like this, the replacement efforts have started with emergency funding. And then if that fell short, Congress authorized new funding rather than tapping into an existing source like a grant program. We reached out to Congressman Earl Blumenauer, who knows a thing or two about transportation projects, and he agreed about how things will probably grow. go. He wrote, Congress must now expeditiously fulfill President Biden's request for new federal funds to replace the Francis Scott Key Bridge. This is an additional request for an emergency which will not compete with previous commitments. This tragedy demands our immediate attention and approval of new funding. Okay, so... Let's just tackle the completely hypothetical question of if, for some reason, Baltimore did end up pursuing those grants, could it wind up taking money that might have otherwise gone to the Interstate Bridge Project? Even then, probably not. The Interstate Bridge Project is pursuing three major grant opportunities, the Mega Grant Program, the Bridge Investment Program, and the New Starts Program. New Starts is for transit projects, so the Baltimore Bridge probably wouldn't qualify as for the other two, that remains to be seen right now. The Interstate Bridge Program here already received a $600 million mega grant back in December, 
and the program has also already applied for the current round of bridge investment grant funding. So, even if the Baltimore Bridge pursued those grants, it would likely be during future rounds when the Interstate Bridge has already locked in however much federal money it's going to get. All of that is a long, long ways around to say, well, we don't have a crystal ball and we can't say for sure, based on what we do know now, we're pretty dang confident that the Interstate Bridge Project has nothing to worry about.